Thank you very much for joining us. Um, please introduce yourself to us briefly and your research area. Oh, thank you very much for receiving us. Um, my name is Madeleine Molk and I work at TNO. It's an applied research organization in the Netherlands. Um, and my research area is actually twofold. Uh, so I'm working in the energy transition domain on CO2 utilization. So to use CO2 and convert it to synthetic fuels. And I'm also working in the field of artificial intelligence. Um, so for example, writing algorithms to predict uh, energy load on the electricity grid. Good. So um, you were participating in a CO2 utilization session, which is, yes, yes exactly basically. My field, yes. Good, good. Um, how did you find the session and how do you think it adds value to your research area? I find it very interesting um, because there was a lot of different views on what you should do with CO2. And that's a valid discussion we have as well. Do you want to store it? Do you want to take it out of the air? Um, do you want to convert it uh, back to synthetic fuels? Uh, so for me it was really interesting to hear also on the yeah this high level and from the company's perspective and from a policy perspective how people think about that. Um, and trying to take away from that also what we are going to do with it and designing the roadmap, roadmap for synthetic fuels. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will incorporate that as well in my work. Perfect. Um, in general, what is your impression of ICEF and also how do you think as a young researcher participant, how you may be able to um, contribute to this conference in the future? Uh, my general impression is that it's a very good conference. I really enjoyed it. The topics are very relevant and uh, yeah, valid for the future. Uh, the speakers are also on a very high level, so I enjoyed that as well. And it shows me that the companies uh, are really, really care about the energy transition. So I'm happy to see that. Um, and what I can contribute, uh, well, I'm still young, but I hope that uh, in the future uh, I take away these lessons I learned uh, from the policy makers and the, yeah, the people now in charge um, and their view on the future, what I can, how can I can uh, use that to contribute as well. Um, so, for example, in the roadmap I'm generating and all these kind of projects. Um, and hopefully, maybe if there are next session and I will have the opportunity to come again, <laughs> uh, I would like also to uh, yeah, do a bit more networking and connect a bit more with uh, uh, people uh, that also come to these conferences. Good. Um, and personally, um, how would you like to contribute to this, our goal of tackling climate change and thinking about the environment and the future? Um, so in my work, I'm, I, I'm contributing to it, um, I'm, and I like to. That's all the reason why I work at TNO because I want to uh, work on this energy transition and uh, thinking about the future and thinking ahead and yeah, keeping a positive uh, attitude on that. Uh, and on a personal note, um, yeah, I try to use less plastic, don't eat meat, and try to travel more with. Uh, public transport so and I and especially also we talk a lot about it with my friends um, to see what everybody is doing and to uh, also provide the knowledge on the energy transition uh, that I gained through my work and pass it on to my friends as well so good thank you very much thank you